Hey what's up guys Malik is here and welcome to a new DaVinci Resolve tutorial. A few years ago I saw a tutorial on how to create a product animation using After Effects and now I would like to show you how to use the same thing in DaVinci Resolve. So let's start by adding a fusion composition then let's go to fusion. Now we're gonna add the background then an ellipse and let's change the background type to gradient change the gradient type to radial and now let's change the starting point like this and let's change the color from black to something like dark gray and add an offset like this now let's use a, a single window for now and let's decrease the size like this yeah this looks good now we need to add a transform node like this and we need three more copies of this and this looks good now let's uh, move them the first one let's move the first one okay let's let's connect them with the merge node first so we can see what we are doing let's move the first one to the bottom here let's move the second one to the bottom also and maybe it can increase the size a little bit and let's move the third one to the top like this and decrease the size a little bit and let's move the last one here so this is what we have so far let's add a background to this and let's change the color to dark gray also so this is what we have so far now let's add our products we're gonna add a uh, a photo of our products here connect it to the merge for like this and add a transform node and we need to flip it and move it here and maybe decrease the size a little bit like this and now let's add some text let's add the text node like this and add new increase the size and change the font something like this now this looks good so far uh, let's change the shading and make it outline only and click on outside only and this looks good let's add another text like this and type here something like be original and move it to the left like this maybe change the color to something I don't know to something like this maybe let's add a um, shadow and this looks fine now we need uh, to add uh, a mask around this text here so uh, let's add a rectangle mask and let's make it like this and increase the softness and this looks good now we're gonna make uh, the circles here or these balls a little bit blurry so let's add a blur node after the transform and increase the size to something like 15 let's go to the second one add the blur node change the size to 20 maybe 25 and let's go to the third one 
and also add a blur node and increase it a little bit to something like five and you can see the effects that we have now you can see also that the background is a little bit uh, doesn't show exactly because they, they have the same color so let's go to the background and maybe change the color to something a little bit darker like this and this looks way much better so now let's add uh, and let's start uh, animating we need to this we're gonna animate this bolt they come from bottom to top so let's start with the first one add the transform node no, we, we go, we're going to do it here. So create a keyframe on the 20th frame. Let's go back to zero and move it to the bottom like this. Let's go to the second one and do the, the same thing. Create keyframe. and Move it like this. Same thing here. And the same thing at the last one. And this is what we have so far. So let's select the transform nodes, go to the spline, make sure to select, select all of them. Control A to select all of them, then press S to add the smooth curve like this. Let's do the same thing for the shoes here. Let's create, uh, go to frame 20, create a keyframe around the center and the angle. We're going to change the angle a little bit. Something like this. And go to frame zero. Change the position and change the angle like this and this is what we have so far let's go to the spline editor make sure to show only selected and add the smooth curve now let's animate our text so we're gonna go to the text and add the follower right click follower and go to frame 30 make sure the delay between each character is one frame let's go to this text add the keyframe around the size go back 10 seconds or 10 frames and change the size like this and this is what we have Now for the other text we can use different things, we can add a blur node or we can add a right on effect. Let's add the blur node first and make it a little bit blurry or we can make it all the, let's add, let's make it all the way blurry. So add a keyframe here. And let's go to frame maybe 35 and bring down the blur like this and this is what we have so far you can see that the color of the text here is a little bit uh, doesn't can't see it properly so maybe can change the color like this and this is what we have so far now you can see that the balls here and the shoes are static so we're gonna add a little bit of movement by adding uh, another transform node and in this transform we're gonna right click on the center and modify it with the perturb like this go to modifier Decrease the scale, the X scale to 0 
and the Y scale also like this and you can see that the ball is moving now make sure to click on receipt so we can get a random movement and simply copy this node and paste it like this go to the modifier change the receipt and we're gonna do the same thing with this one go modifier and the last one and you can change the scale if you want to make a little bit of random movement and we're gonna add the same thing to the shoes modifier recede and increase the x a little bit like this and this is what we have so far you can see that the balls are floating you can see that the shoes are floating and this is way much better now you simply go connect the last node to the media outer and go back to the edit page and this is what we have so far so you can see that you can uh, create a simple animation for products maybe for your uh, instagram posts uh, for your tiktok posts for your youtube shorts uh, so this is how you create a product animation using DaVinci Resolver. You can download the project files in the link in the description below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.